Hey guys, welcome back to All On Law. This is Quick Radiology. And today we're going to talk about causes for splenic calcification. Splenic calcification. Okay. So in this video we're going to talk about the splenic calcification causes for that. So we have different types the way in which the calci calcification has taken place. If it can be what you got curvilinear. Okay. It can be either what you call small multiple nodular. multiple nodules or nodular okay or either it could be what you call diffuse homogeneous or finally granular diffuse homogeneous or granular or finally granular okay or it can be either due to what you call a solitary what you call types I'm talking about it could be solitary greater than one centimeter solitary greater than one centimeter so curvilinear if you talk about the curvilinear deposit was well, calcification splenic calcification the three causes you should remember one is a splenic artery arteriosclerosis splenic artery atherosclerosis okay uh, even it includes what you call a splenic artery aneurysm okay splenic artery atherosclerosis and it could be due to the hydrated cyst hydrated cyst okay or it could be due to the post traumatic okay so these are the causes for the curvilinear splenic calcification for a multiple small nodular what you call calcification it can be the due to the tuberculosis okay or it can be due to what you call an infection like histoplasmosis histoplasmosis brucellosis okay sickle cell anemia right and flebolites flebolites okay right you may have what you call these flebolites can have a small central lucencies hemangiomas Hemangiomas, okay. So these are the causes for a small mantilla nodular, what you call a splenic calcification, uh, tuberculosis, histoplasmosis, brucellosis, sickle cell anemia, flebolis, hemangiomas, okay. Regarding the diffuse homogeneous or a finally granular, the causes can be sickle cell anemia can give rise to this or nemocystis carina infection. Nemocystis carina. Okay, carina infections. Okay, and for a solid tree greater than one centimeter in size, is a healed infarct or hematoma can give rise to this. Healed hematoma or infarct. Okay, or either it could be healed what you call uh, abscess, or it could be due to the tuberculosis. Okay, guys, so these are the causes for the splenic calcification. We have curvilinear, multiple small nodular, diffuse homogeneous or finally granular, and solitary greater than one centimeter. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.